Call it a tale of two cities. The Beechwood School District is suing Warrensville High Schools for $5 million. The issue, a 21-year-old deal over property taxes. Channel 3's Brandon Simmons has the story of these two school districts on different sides of the success scale, now in a controversial battle in court. It looks like you have a community that is less affluent being attacked by one that has a, a very positive outlook, uh, affluency abound. Uh, that's if you're looking from the outside. That's the summary of it. Beachwood City Schools, a district ranked 15th in the state, is suing its neighbor, Warrensville Heights City Schools, ranked in the bottom 15 for money that stems from a 1997 deal that should have benefit both sides. In a $5 million lawsuit, Beachwood says Warrensville breached a tax revenue sharing agreement. We're not quite sure where the breakdown has come, right? And it has been, it's been decades, really. Here's the deal. Near the Harvard exit of I-271, the Chagrin Highlands Project, formerly the Figgy Project, was an agreement that included five cities. Those cities split income taxes, but when it comes to the property taxes, Warrensville schools are the beneficiary, as they were before the land was divided. Beachwood says Warrensville schools was supposed to share revenue taxes from the development that now includes Eaton Corporation, a Hoosier Medical Center, hotels, and retail. But Warrensville hasn't paid, and they don't believe they should. Warrensville's whole premise was based in a joint educational opportunity. Warrensville Schools is on the path to improvement, eking out a D on the most recent state report card. For a long time, Beachwood Schools have been a top district, receiving an A. Warrensville Heights Mayor Brad Sellers is not a spokesperson for either school district, both of which declined to comment on pending litigation. But he's an interested party who believes both sides are going about it all wrong. I don't think the money is five, six million dollars. It's going to break Beachwood. It's not. Right? It can break warns with. Sellers said seeing the two parties in court is disappointing, but understands both sides are trying to protect their own interests. Interests, he says, are short-sighted. Warrensville and Beach would have a good relationship, have always had a good relationship. I don't want to see that destroyed. I'm Brandon Simmons, Channel 3 News.